How's it everyone? My name is Black Surfall and we have a very special video to break down or analyze. Yesterday, a new dinosaur documentary trailer just dropped on Apple TV Plus channel called Prehistoric Planet. It's an upcoming five-part prehistoric animal documentary that will be premiered on Apple TV Plus on May 23rd. Besides upcoming Jurassic World Dominion and Camp Cretaceous Season 5, I'm so excited to watch this new upcoming dinosaur documentary because I like paleontology accurate stuff while Jurassic World are fictional. So let's get started. This is prehistoric planet. There are many ways to describe life on this planet. Alright, so those are the uh, plesiosaurs or elasmosaurs because they have a uh, long necks because they are um, marine reptiles with long necks. We'll see about that. Okay, I think it's a uh, change of source. Yeah, the news discovery trying to sort it on uh, Asia, on China probably. Some creatures could be called magnificent. And that uh, would be the Hexicopteryx. The curved claw, so definitely a uh, dromaeosaurid. Alright, so either this is a uh, dromaeosaurus or the velociraptor. I think it's a velociraptor because um, the way how it looks, uh, very small. And um, yeah, of course, it's a dromaeosaurid. So yeah, I would say this is a velociraptor because I love the the eyes. It looks like uh, uh, looks like looking at something, and probably hunting uh, small prey, and I love those feathers. It's pretty cool. Perhaps. All right. T-Rex can swim, that's new to me. I know and I read some books, uh, it says T-Rex also live on coastal area, so that must be true if T-Rex can swim, but the way it swim is different from Spinosaurus, which can dive like penguin and swimming like crocodile by moves its tail like wave motions. I see T-Rex here with some its infants swimming behind the adult T-Rex. So T-Rex are moving like uh, with its infants like chickens or ducks which the infants follow their mother probably until at certain age where the infants can live independent. Some cases say T-Rex also live on a group like wolf and they are also hunting their prey together because there was evidence of a group of T-Rex died together. Right, let's see again how it, the T-Rex swimming. Um, All right, so the way how the T-Rex swimming are using their hand limbs to paddle, so it's very interesting. But only a few. Okay, um, I don't know about this dinosaurs, uh, I think it's, it's more like uh, Iguanodontia, but it's more smaller. Uh, I don't know, I can't identify what this dinosaur is yet. 
Maybe if you know what this dinosaur, you can tell me in the comment what this is. Alright, All right, let's move to another one. Alright, so this is probably the Nodosaurus. Alright, well that's so interesting. It's a very beautiful view of um, added desert there. And I see three Tyrannosaurus Rexes. And uh, I think, are those Tyrannosaurus Rex? Yes, probably. And, okay, this raptor, this dromaeosaurid. Uh, probably dromaeosaurus, not velociraptor. I'm still confused between those two, or maybe another raptor, because it's very small, or let's see. Um, Dakota Raptor, no, it's much bigger. Yeah, it's be between those two, uh, either Velociraptor or Dromaeosaurus, but it is uh, Dromaeosaurus, of course. Yes, and those are sleeping uh, T Rex, T Rexes on those. Um, Arid stone, arid rocks here. Yes, it's their eyes opening. All three. All right, so uh, these are the pterosaurs, but uh, much smaller. I don't know what pterosaurs is this. To be honest, um, no, no, I can't identify this yet. Maybe if you know this, you can tell me again in the comment below. There's so much thing I don't know, so many things I don't know from this um, trailer. Yeah, because there are a lot of dinosaurs out there. Yes. All right. So these are the Daniel uh, Harris. Can identify by the uh, duck bill and the back spines look like spine there, but actually no. Look at how gorgeous is it. I love the feathers there, and looks like it's eating some wheat from the river. It's pretty beautiful, Dino Harris. Love it. Explore the coastlines where giants roam. Okay, so this is the uh, sauropod. I see two sauropods, but I also don't know what is. Uh, I don't know what is sauropod. Oh, I can not try this yet. Oh, that's very beautiful. The deserts where danger rules. So this is probably the. Quetzal Cutlass. Yeah. Oh. This one is my favorite. One of my favorite. The Alara Titan. Because I love the. How, how gorgeous the crest there. I love it. Oh. This. This one is probably uh, the Alara Titan. Oh uh, baby, looks cute too. Yeah, I can identify by uh, the colors of its skin. That guy looks pretty similar with the adult hair. Yeah, so I guess that would be the baby. Okay, so these are the uh, Pachyrhinosaurus in the snow area. I think it's because they are on north of America, so it will be very snowy and cold. So yes, and the survival is everything. Wow, I love it. The design of the uh Pachyrhinosaurus and probably this uh this chart is 
the nanox source right so let's see again yeah the there are pack of a group of nanox source hunting uh, group of a uh, pack of the petrosaurus that's really amazing it's that's cool that's how probably at their times work all right let's move again all right so okay this might be very odd to you but it's also new to me uh looks like it's a different sauropod than the previously i don't know what sauropod is it uh but this one is probably the alamosaurus uh the new thing is the balloons that just come out from its neck and that must be the airbags or air sacs because sauropod's neck bones are pneumatic bones so the bones are hollows or cavity that filled with air so those hollow bones also were the uh, cervical air sac system will cause the external air sacs or the balloon uh, filled with air when it's inhaling those pneumatic uh, just like birds have that's really uh interesting i never knew about this one so this probably will change uh, my view about the sauropod um today and probably after watching prehistoric planet i would change my mind about the sauropods all right so uh those two are fighting or the way how it's fighting it's different from giraffe uh, so far I know the sauropods are fighting for female uh, the male are fighting like giraffe by uh, smashing or uh, smacking their uh, necks towards each other just like giraffe but this one uh, it's like uh, I don't know it's like biting each other and hitting it's really new to me that's very new but still awesome all right so uh this is the Edmontosaurus. you might be wondering the Edmontosaurus uh had a crest like corytosaurus but smaller if you're playing jurassic world evolution you may uh you know how it looks like because it is the updated restoration uh, but you need to know this uh, the Edmontosaurus that had come crash is Edmontosaurus regulus while this Edmontosaurus is Edmontosaurus annectens without the come crash so there are two genus of Edmontosaurus I know the Edmontosaurus annectens was known as anatosaurus but it was changed to edmontosaurus anectens for the story all right so this is probably the uh, elasmosaurus or plesiosaurus elasmosaurus is much uh, larger than plesiosaurus so this is probably the elasmosaurus all right so this is what I can identify yet. I don't know what this is, but this time source looks cute. Um, it's pretty small. I don't know what this is. Okay, we have to see two two rexes again, but uh, the other one here has a scar here. Probably this had to fight with another time source or another T Rex. Uh, I don't know probably this one is its offspring okay. 
all right now this is uh the carnotaurus you know everyone know that all right so that's not a new thing to me again uh about the uh those arms those little uh front limbs of the carnotaurus uh, uh many people say uh those limbs front limbs i mean uh, are not uh, functional or useless but actually it was uh it, it using for uh mating with to like to attract their female so like this one uh the inner side of the front limbs it had uh, blue colors to attract the female so probably this uh carnotaurus uh, it had a uh, brown yellow and creamy colors and a blue uh, on inner front limbs to attract the female so this uh, the green one here probably the females all right so they probably are going to mating all right so this is another marine reptiles uh, looks like it's uh, mosasaurus I guess uh, I don't know if another mosasaurus, but if you know if this are not mosasaurus, let me know in the comment below. I would love to know about that. But I would say that would be the mosasaurus. All right, so again, back this with uh, the dromaeosaurus, this raptor again. All right, so um, this is another new thing to me again. Uh, I don't know again what the green small pteropod is. Uh, definitely not Dromaeosaurid. That's another thing. And I don't know, it looks different. And I don't know what this big thing here. What what are these? It's like a big frog. Me, I mean the it, uh, the tongue here, the way how it catches the the prey is like a frog. I don't know what this dinosaur is, or I think it's an amphibian. I don't know. Let me know in the comment below. I, I don't know about this one. And the uh, small green dinosaur is. Alright, so this is probably another raptor or ornithomimid. Um, I would say this is probably a raptor, but I don't know what raptor exactly it is. Alright, alright, so I think we're going too fast. Um, I need to go frame by frame right now. Right, just a second, I think I just saw something there. Alright, so, okay, this is probably enough. So, uh, this is the Tianjosaurus that was live on Asia and China probably. And the blue bird case is not Twitter, don't mistake it for Twitter. Um, it's a Ophiraptor, uh, not Ophiraptor. Ophiraptor is more smaller, but this Ophiraptor it is almost uh, same height as the Tianjosaur. So I would say it probably the Corridor Raptor because the size and uh, of the blue feather there. Looks amazing. Also, the Kangasaurus and the classic all of time the Treasure Tops. Always. 
Oh, I love the baby. Looks cute. Pachuranosaurus fighting. Okay, and this one is uh, Nyctosaurus, another pterosaur with uh, a weird looking crest. Like, like the, you see here, like a. I don't know what is, what you call this. It's, looks weird, but this pterosaur is called Nyctosaurus. I guess you didn't. You have no about this pterosaur yet. All right, all right. Well, there's a small um, running. I don't know what this dinosaur is. Okay, so we see uh, the Edmontosaurus again. Well, that's a lot of her. They're moving in her. And back there, you see uh, the Alamosaurus, I guess, or another another sauropod. That's different i can identify that yet but if you notice there there's there are small dinosaur down here are running probably the same with the previous but i don't know what this small uh dinosaurs let me know in the comment below again all right all right that's all right that's the t-rex uh successfully killing the Triceratops, yes, the most epic and legend uh, dinosaurs battle, uh, current four versus herbivore is the uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex versus the Triceratops, that's cool change I ever seen. Alright, so Prehistoric Planet, executively produced by John Favreau, who also director of the Lion King 2019. So that probably Prehistoric Planet adopt a uh, photorealistic that was used making the Lion King. So not just the accurate design of the dinosaur, but how realistic is the design compared to Planet Dinosaur and working with Dinosaurs documentary and narrated by David Attenborough. I love this documentary, uh, probably will be the best dinosaur documentary. Uh, I like how accurate the dinosaurs design and uh, many new things I can get from this trailer that makes me want to learn more about these dinosaurs. Uh, I can't wait for this documentary premiere on May 23rd on Apple TV Plus. So, if you really enjoyed this video, uh, let me know in the comment below and let me know what are those dinosaurs on this trailer that I don't know. Probably you know that. Uh, I would love to know uh, what are those dinosaurs, so let me know. Just let me know in the comment below or maybe if you uh, spot something else in the trailer so you can tell me there in the comment and yeah i see you next time of video zine